The way the samurai is found in death. Meditation on inevitable death should be performed daily. Every day when one's body and mind are at peace, one should meditate upon being ripped apart by arrows, rifles, spears, and swords. Being carried away by surging waves, being thrown into the midst of a great fire, being struck by lightning, being shaken to death by a great earthquake, falling from thousand-foot cliffs, dying of disease, or committing seppuku at the death of one's master. And every day without fail, one should consider himself as dead. This is the substance of the way of the samurai. Surrounded by police this whole week Buildings with no heat 
snow lights, the gas pipes, and snow leaks. Dog fights and low life, throw dice the whole night. She leaves, creeping in the midnight evenings. You saw through the misty regions. Go to your house, take them out for the demons. Moonlit, the moon eclipse. Prophet stands in the midst of the seven candlesticks. I can't take it. Beauty that was once sacred is now getting faceless. Fake tits, fake lips, cold embraces, memory erases from the slave ships. My princess, I used to spot her from a distance. Holding my infant, burning incense. A moment intent for her to step into my white tents. Now we step in precincts for your ebony prince. The smell of frankincense, once treated like a pharaoh. With royal apparel, anointed with myrrh and aloe. We used to wallow amongst the mallow. We had herd sheep and cattle, now we battle. Used to pass over Brooks and Kiran. Towers of Lebanon, the pool of Geshron. We used to sing songs upon Mount Hebron. How was gold turned to bronze? How was gold turned to bronze? We were the wisest and the richest. Now we turned to snitches. Women turned to bitches. In the top of harvest, we were the smartest. Worship wisdom like the goddess. Now we act retarded. We must suck the wisdom of the fathers. We used to have a thousand flags of wine. In Palestine, now we drink Valentine. The rage up in the mountain mine. Now, what goes up must come down. What goes down comes back around again. Where it all began, 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 began. It's bad when one thing becomes two. One should not look for anything else in the way of the samurai. It's the same for anything else that is called a way. If one understands things in this manner, he should be able to hear about all ways and be more and more in accord with his own. I'll get you the rest tomorrow. No problem. Sir Frank. Yeah. Rule number one. You don't fuck around with the boss's daughter. Don't break my balls right now, Uncle Joe. Frank, you asshole. Listen to me. She's been in and out of fucking hospitals for psychiatric evaluation. She's a real fucking wacko. Yeah, you do. And now Vargo's put all the family's money in a fucking trust fund. Yeah, we're doing something I don't already know. You're gonna need a clip, Frankie. Are you finished yet, Uncle Joe? You're gonna get whack. Well, I'm not fuck. I'm not fucking dead yet, so let's get off the goddamn phone already. crazy about her, and you know what I mean when I say crazy. Yeah, I know, I know, Uncle Joe. Excuse me, Mr. Vargo. Sonny, uh, Louis Bonicelli's outside, said you told him to come down. Thanks, Angie. Excuse me for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. I almost hit the number last week. What number did you play? I played my license plate number. You know what? What? My fucking house address number came out. Louie. <laughs> 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 What's up, Sonny? Come on, let's take a walk. So everything's set up? Yeah, it's gonna go down tonight. I'm using my special guy. What about the girl? 
Marini says he put her on the bus to the seashore. Good. I don't feel good about it, though. Handsome Frank's a made guy and all. A good soldier. I feel, I feel a little bad. Forget about it. Handsome Frank fucked up. You can pay your respects at the funeral with the rest of us. Yeah. Some more wine, Louise. I want any more wine. What the fuck? What do you want? You want my Rolex? Whatever the fuck. I thought I sent you here to do this. Book. Ancient Japan was a pretty strange place. But half of them were history. If one were to say in a word what the condition of being a samurai is. Its basis lies first in seriously devoting one's body and soul to his master. Not to forget one's master is the most fundamental thing for a retainer. Bad feeling, Ben. First Valerio calls me in for a sit-down with Vago himself. And now the bird. <coughs> Come here, Briggy Briggy. Come here, little fucker. <sighs> God damn it, Ben, this is ridiculous. I can't write this fucking small. You sure we can't swag a fax machine and somehow get it to this guy? It's the Middle Ages. Got him, Louie. Louie, I got him. I got this sucker. Easy now, Mr. Chicken. Easy. Jesus, man, hold the damn thing still, will you? I don't want to hurt him. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, okay. Go, little birdie. Go.
it is a good viewpoint to see the world as a dream. When you have something like a nightmare, you will wake up and tell yourself that it was only a dream. It is said that the world we live in is not a bit different from this. you guys doing? Well, the kid says his mother went to work and locked him in the apartment. Now he's mad as hell. Louie, Margo's waiting for us. I think you've got bigger problems than this, don't you? Johnny, you said the girl was on the fucking bus last night. What happened? She was. I don't know what happened. Let's go. We're already late. Come on, man. Let's go. Among the maxims on Lord Naoshige's wall, there was this one. Matters of great concern should be treated lightly. Master Ite commented, matters of small concern should be treated seriously. Johnny, go inside. They're waiting for you. Thanks, son. Huh? Oh, how's it going? Yeah. I'm sorry we're late, Mr. Barlow. Sonny, Mr. Barnicelli here was uh, delayed on his way over. Sit down.
Johnny, why don't you step outside and have yourself a smoke? Sure, Sonny. Mr. Bargo? You got a really big problem here, Louie. Seems like you're directly responsible for it. Your mystery man fucked up. Well, Marini told me he put the girl, the... Mr. Vargo's daughter, on the bus. He did, but she got off the bus and went to Handsome Frank's house. You wanted Handsome Frank whacked, so he got whacked. I'm outside. I set it all up. No traces, no nothing. Marini said that she was on the bus. But Jesus, I mean, it's lucky he didn't do her too, right? If he had, you would be fucking dead. This is not a good situation, Louis. Where is she now? I mean, is she all right? Don't worry about Mr. Vargo's daughter. What we need to do is eliminate the scumbag who whacked Frank. Frank was one of us. His killer needs to be neutralized, erased from the face of the planet. For the past four years, this guy's done maybe 12 perfect contracts. Perfectly. Like a ghost. He's very valuable. He's totally untraceable. I'm sure he didn't realize anyone was going to be there when he did the handsome Frank. Oh, he would have backed off. He sure as hell didn't notice she was going to be there. Louis, unless you want to be buried next to Frank, now is the time to tell us everything you know about this mysterious, ghost-like, untraceable fucking button man. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I don't pay him by the job. He'll only work if I pay him once each year. Always on the first day of autumn. That's the way he wants it. First day of autumn, I settle up for whatever contracts he's done for that past year, see? The first day of autumn. Okay, okay. Let's just skip that part for now. Where does he live? Oh, fuck if I know. That, that's the next strange thing. Because I can't just call him up because, well, he contacts me only through a bird. You see, since I first started contracting stuff out to this guy, the bird comes every single day. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Did you say he contacts you to a fucking bird? Did I just hear you say that? What particular species of bird? It's a pigeon. Be like a, a carrier pigeon or whatever. Passenger pigeon! Passenger pigeon's been extinct since 1914! Am I fucking dreaming here or what? All right, Louis, forget about the bird, okay? Let me ask you this. Tell me, what does this mysterious guy look like? Could you maybe tell me that much? He's a big guy. A big black guy. He what? He said the guy's a nigger. Well, see, maybe about eight years ago, I, I saw a guy, this guy. I thought he was more of a kid, really, uh, in a bad situation. Stupid ass motherfucker! Get his ass up here! Oh, you motherfucker! Come on. What's the problem here? So I, uh... straightened things out. Anyway, then about four years ago, he, uh, this big guy comes to my door, this big black guy. He, he got a fucking pigeon on his shoulder. Fuck if I know how he found me, but he said he owed me. I only saw him once after that, and, well, we made this arrangement. It's very touching, Louis. Let me just backtrack here for, for just a second. You seen this fucking bird comes to your house every day. Did he come today? Yeah, Sonny, the bird was there this morning. Did he have a message? Yeah, uh, the usual mission accomplished message. Yeah. And did you send the message back? No. No, I, uh, you would call me in, so I figured it was best to leave things alone. Did you try to follow this bird? Put a bug on it? Anything like that? No, I never had a reason to do anything like that. Well, like I said, I, I realize the arrangement I made with, with this guy is pretty weird, but 
He's always shown me complete respect. Well, a whole new century is coming, Louie. And Mr. Vargo wants every member of his family to make it a priority to erase this weirdo. This guy is a professional. Going after him could be very dangerous. Handsome Frank was one of us. So now we're gonna peel this nigga's cap back. Better him than you, right, Louie? Now, what the fuck is his name? Ghost Dog. What? Ghost Dog. Ghost Dog? He said Ghost Dog. Yeah, he calls himself Ghost Dog. I don't know, a lot of these black guys today, these gangster type guys, they all got names like that they make up for themselves. Is that true? Sure. He means like the rappers. You know, the rappers, they all got names like that. Snoop Doggy Dog, Ice Cube, Q-Tip, Method Man. My favorite was always Flavor Flav from Public Enemy. We got the funky, fresh flyer flavor. Live lyrics from the bank of reality. I kick the flyers to maneuver technicality to a dope track. I love that guy. I don't know anything about that. But it makes me think about Indians. You know, they got names like uh, Red Cloud, Crazy Horse, Running Bear, Black Elk. Mm. <laughs> that kind of shit. Yeah, Indians, niggas, same thing. Johnny! Sonny, Mr. Vargo? Go outside. Get Sammy the Snake, Joe Rags, Big Angie. Get him in here, will you? Right away. Conquest, a mercenary strike force, another life lost, murdered on the ice cross. Vengeance, black ninjas with monkey wrenches, multiple gunshot wounds from nine inches. 2010 cyborgs with heat sensors. Astro, my ghost dogs that climb fences. Hey, yo, check this. License plate state Texas. White Lexus, my diamond necklace. Got me living reckless. Got me wiping cats out on my shit list. I move with the three six soul, my queen flow. Six point triple zero. Black mafia, my De Niro. In my hood, I'm a hero. Big things, oh, 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 oh,
damn blows out your bitch. Yeah. Trigger happy, my yo star pad. I put the dogs with the weed, dudes nap. Now phone, the house of the road, hit the floor. Dog. Uh, thought maybe it was your dog. What? What? He's really staring at you. Maybe he wants my ice cream cone. I don't think so. If he's bothering you, why don't you just tell him to go away? Go on. I've seen you before. Because you always carry that briefcase. And you live in a shack on the roof of the building down the way from me, where the birds fly out from. My mom says you never talk to nobody, and you got no friends. I don't know your mom. Is that true, though? What? Say you never talk to nobody and you got no friends. No, I'm talking to you, right? Yeah. All right. You got your lunch in that box? What you got in your briefcase? I asked you first. Nope. Not my lunch. I got my books. You want to see? Books? Yeah. OK. The Wind in the Willows. I read that. You did? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I told Hall all that stuff. And it was great. You did read it. Souls of black folk. I read that too. Where'd you get that? From Miss Andrews, my teacher. I didn't read all of it yet, but I plan to. Your time. Night, nurse. You read that? Nope. I just like the cover. Frankenstein, that's a good book. I know, even better than the movie. Yeah, you thought so too? Yeah. Can I see? Yeah. He sprung from the cabin window upon the ice raft which lay close to the vessel. He was soon borne away by the waves and lost darkness and distance. Hey, that's the very end. Don't give away the ending. The monster. Rashomon. What's this about? borrow that, you know. You just got to promise that when you read it, you come tell me what you think, all right? OK, I will. Well, is it true you got no friends, then? No. My best friend is right over there. You want to meet my best friend? 
I don't see anybody. He's right over there in that ice cream truck, right over there. What do you think? I'm a chump. I'm not going over there because I hardly know you. Whatever. Well, all right. Colleen, where do you think you're going? Going to get ice cream. I'm coming right back. This is my best friend, Raymond. Raymond, this is, uh, Berlin, right? Yeah, Berlin. Comment ça va? Hey, tu vois le monsieur qui est là? C'est vraiment mon meilleur ami. My best friend. <laughs> Tiens, une belle boule glacée te fera du bien. Voici pour mes amis. C'est du chocolat comme lui. Allez. Well, okay. Thanks. Chocolate's my favorite. Yeah, me too. Ah, sacré chocolat. Et même si la vanille est le parfum le plus populaire au monde, eh bien, le chocolat reste le meilleur en réalité. What language is he talking in? French. He only speaks French. Do you understand French? No, just English, I... Uh... I never understand a word he says. And that's your best friend? Yeah. Hey, tu vois le monsieur qui est là, mon meilleur ami, là? Il est comme un gros nounou. Attends, je vais te montrer quelque chose. Tu vois? Bears? Yes. Bravo. Et j'ai trouvé ça dans ce livre. L'ours, c'est un animal solitaire. Il est doté d'une faculté d'adaptation à toutes sortes de climats, d'environnement et de nourriture. En groupe, il leur arrive de se partager le repas lorsque la nourriture est abondante et ce, malgré le peu de contacts sociaux qu'ils ont entre eux. L'ours est un redoutable adversaire et n'a d'instinct prédateur d'aucune sorte. Mais surpris ou blessé, l'ours peut alors attaquer et devient dangereux. What's he talking about? Bears, I guess. Look, I gotta go. I got some business to take care of. Je sais pas ce qu'il raconte, mais il s'apprête à partir. Je crois qu'il a des affaires à régler. Passe. Pour l'ice cream. Eh, non, 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 eh, mon ami, pas question, tu n'auras jamais à payer ici, tu sais bien. Now, book I gave you, you read it, tell me what you think, okay? Okay. Okay. Tiens, take it easy, baby. Tu parles français un peu? Non, parce que si tu parlais français, ça aurait été plus simple. Tu aurais pu m'apprendre l'anglais. Je prends des cours, mais Dieu, que c'est difficile. C'est à croire que je ne suis pas fait pour les langues. Parce que figure-toi que j'ai essayé aussi l'espagnol. Mais alors là, c'était carrément impossible, quoi qu'il en soit pour moi. Non, merde! Tu joues pas aux échecs, par hasard? That fucking thing loaded. Yeah. Okay. Come on, let's do it. That could be him right there. Should I shoot him? Nah, that ain't him. Margo said it was a black guy, remember? So what's this guy? So what are you, Puerto Rican? I think he's some sort of an Indian or something. Yo, what the hell are you? Cayuga. Cayuga? The fuck is Cayuga? Puerto Rican Indian nigga, same thing. I think we should just waste him anyway, just to be short for Mr. Vargo. Well, it ain't authorized, so come on, let's go. I want to get the right son of a bitch in here. <laughs> stupid fucking white man. What did you say? I said stupid fucking white man.
Why, you red nigga looking sitting hey, bullshit, hey, hey, motherfucker? Hey, hey. Sam, you're losing control over here. Come on, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. God, you got my ass, you. Listen, you. You better learn to keep your fucking mouth shut. I'll blow your fucking brains out myself. The fuck? Except challenge, ha, run a mad with a racist. They iced it, I aced it, placed it right up in their face till they faced it. Hard to the dome like a chrome microphone. I'm b -b 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 bad to the bone, to the bone. Danger, zone, that's my life and my song. Keep it moving, I'm a long little dog is. The Mac Cadillac, dark shaded with a long sunny black, fake antenna back of the car, side is our TV, even a bar, pull the food down, safe and sound, so we're in the front, just to drive the Lexus all around. Give the, give the, give the body a ride, nice and warm aside. Come to the dirt dog, it's a cummy ride. <laughs> Yo, who got that nigga gas like he can't get ski masks and abducted from his doorstep? Duffel bag his head for the price of nothing. He's a glutton. When I'm manifesting each day is a lesson. According to what one of the elders said, taking an enemy on the battlefield is like a hawk taking a bird. Even though it enters into the midst of a thousand of them, there's no attention to any bird other than the one that it has first marked. Could be him. I don't know. It doesn't feel right. Hey, well, now he's got his own wings. He could fly around with his pigeons over here. Look, Wago says if he even looks like the guy, shoot him immediately, right? I so? know. Huh. I know. Come on, let's go. I got to take care of something personal for Sonny. I knew that was going to be you. You're going to kill me? You might as well kill me. 
I'm your retainer. I follow a code. I've always given you my respect. So that's why you got that big fucking gun to my head? Forgive me. I don't mean you no disrespect. Why the fuck did you find me here? Call me in for a meeting. Yeah. Everything seems to be changing all around us, huh? Say that again. When you did that guy the other night, was there a girl there? I wasn't instructed to eliminate no girl. Yeah, I know. It's just that things have gotten all complicated now. They're going to whack your ghost dog. If they don't find you, they're going to whack me instead. Probably going to whack me anyways. Ray Vargo. Yeah, the whole fucking family's looking for you. And the underboss, Sonny Valerio, he's looking for me. Of course, he's pulling all his... Hey, how the fuck do you know so much about our organization? Who is the girl, Louis? She's... Forget about her. I can't talk about that. I'm trying to warn you that they're gonna kill you. And maybe me, too. Better me than you, Louis. Well, uh, right now, I'd have to agree with that. Hey, Louie, sorry I'm late, and I'm real sorry about this. Jesus Christ, he's a Shabarini. He's Valeria's fucking brother-in-law. Get a gun, he's gonna shoot you. What? See if he's dead. I don't think he's getting any older. Pull him over. Uh, well, now you really better shoot me. There's no way I'm ever going to explain this. <sighs> Fucking Marini. <sighs> okay, shoot me. Go ahead. Kill me now. I'm your retainer. It's against the code of the samurai to kill you. Look, if you're my retainer, whatever the fuck that is, I do what I'm telling you and fucking shoot me. <laughs> what the hell did you do that for? You told me to. I don't mean you no disrespect. Anyway, now you got an excuse. You can tell them I attacked you both. You better watch your back, ghost dog! Like you said, everything seems to be changing around us. Nothing makes any sense anymore. Tiens-moi Man, j'ai vu un super truc qu'il faut que je te montre. Ça, tu n'en croiras pas tes yeux. Je ne sais pas pourquoi, mais ça m'a fait penser à toi. Take your name. Merde. Allez, viens. Viens. Hey. Tu sais quoi? Maintenant, ils disent que la glace est vraiment bonne pour la santé. Pour why? Yeah, j'ai entendu ça ce matin à la radio. Un type genre nutritionniste, il a dit que c'est exactement comme la nourriture. Eh, hey, tu sais, j'ai pas l'habitude de me balader sur les toits. Hein. Je ne viens jamais même ici, mais je suis venu ici aujourd'hui pour la première fois tôt ce matin. Juste pour admirer la lumière de l'aube, la couleur du ciel. Et je suis tombé sur ce truc incroyable que je me suis dit, il faut que tu vois. Allez. Viens jeter un oeil à ça, man. <rire> J'aime ça. Regarde-moi ça. C'est complètement fou, non? Quel bel objet. 
Mais dis, je me demande comment est-ce qu'il va s'y prendre pour le faire descendre de là, nom de Dieu. Ah, ça, c'est complètement fou. Ce type est un génie. C'est amazing. How the hell is the guy ever gonna get it down from here? Comment allez-vous? Eh oh! Quel magnifique bateau! Mais une fois terminé, vous n'aurez plus qu'à voguer dans les nuages avec? Partiendo! Sigo trabajando! Ah! Je suppose que tu as des affaires à régler car le soleil va se coucher. I gotta go, I got some business to take care of as soon as sun's gonna be coming down. In words of the ancients, one should make his decisions within the space of seven breaths. It is a matter of being determined and having the spirit to break right through to the other side.
can turn diamonds into jelly beans. But do you think I'm happy? No. I frustrated, 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 frustrated. You ask why? He licks the cat and his bag of tricks. It's magic. I'll make a canoe. Magic and more magic. I swear to God, I'm gonna call the city marshal. Okay, Three okay. months rent. What kind of operation are you guys running here anyway? Why? I don't think the boss completely buys your story either, Louis. Marie knew his family. He was also my fucking brother-in-law. Sonny, I'm sad about what happened, but I got fucking shot. What, you think I'm making this up? Right now, I don't know what I fucking believe. <clears throat> Joe, Snake. Go to the garage, get some cars. First thing in the morning, I want you to take Mr. Vargo and the whole crew up to his castle in the woods. Right now? No, next fucking week. Let's go! Pigeon, you pigeon! Somebody grab the goddamn thing. Flying rat. I don't want him anywhere near me. Just get the message off him. Send him home, Vinny. If the samurai's head were to be suddenly cut off, he should still be able to perform one more action with certainty. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? It's poetry. The poetry of war. Even if a samurai's head were to be suddenly cut off, he should still be able to perform one more action with certainty. If one becomes like a revengeful ghost and shows great determination, though his head is cut off, he should not die.
It is good to carry some powdered rouge in one's sleeve. It may happen that when one is sobering up, awakened from sleep, a samurai's complexion may be poor. At such a time, it is good to take out and apply some powdered rouge.
when one has made a decision to kill a person, even if it will be very difficult to succeed by advancing straight ahead, it will not do to think about going at it in a long roundabout way. The way of the samurai is one of immediacy, and it is best to dash in headlong. Hello, I'm Bob Solo. I'm with Westside Realty. I have an appointment with Mr. Vago. How the hell did you get in the gate, Mr. Solo? Oh, Mr. Valerio gave me the code. But this is a very important meeting, and I may have a buyer for the estate here. You know what? Go inside, Sammy, and check this out. I'll stay here with our Mr. Solo. You mind if I get out and stretch my legs for a second? No, you stay in the car, Mr. Solo. Hey, why don't I give you my card? I've been expecting you. You again? You borrowed my book? the same exact place as last time. I'm your retainer. I don't mean you no disrespect. Besides, I don't want to put too many holes in you. My son is Valerio, Ruli. I'll see you later, Louis. It's a hell of a big bear you killed there. Yep. Parker weighs about 300 pounds. Yeah. You know, it's funny because I, 
I didn't, I didn't even know it was bear hunting season. What are you, a game warden? Some kind of fed or something? Nah. <laughs> nah, I was just, you know, just asking, you know? Just asking. Well, I'll tell you. You see, there aren't too many of these uh, big black fuckers left around here. So when you get a good clear shot at it, you sure as hell take it. Huh. That's why you shoot them. Because there's not that many left. I don't think I understand your question. You know, there ain't all that many colored people around here, neither. Maybe you ought to get back in your fancy car and go about your own business. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Bears were considered equal with men. Listen, well, ain't no ancient culture here, mister. Sometimes it is. Our bodies are given life in the midst of nothingness. Existing where there is nothing is the meaning of the phrase, form is emptiness. That all things are provided for by nothingness is the meaning of the phrase, emptiness is form. One should not think that these are two separate things. <laughs> you know, Louis, there's one good thing about this ghost dog guy. What's that, Vin? He's sending us out in the old way. <laughs> Like real fucking gangsters. Hang on, Vin. You're gonna make it. Just hang in there. Oh, Christ. Fucking 5 0. Come when you're in a city, you never see a single cop. But every time we're out here, they're all over us like, like the fucking Gestapo. Like we're in some fucking foreign country or something. My friend here is real sick. We gotta get him to a hospital. What happened to your arm? I I'm fine, officer. It's my friend here. I gotta get him to the hospital. License and registration, please. Look, we don't have time, lady. Don't push me, mister. I'm not in the mood. Remain inside the vehicle. <laughs> This is, this is terrific. What's the situation here, sir? Let's get the fuck out of here, Louis. Just ice the woman, you know that? <laughs> you know what you are, Louis? You're a fucking male chauvinist pig. What do you mean I'm a, a male chauvinist pig? <sighs> he just shot a broad. A cop? He just shot a cop? You wanna be equal? I made her equal. <laughs> You with me over there? Oh, no.
ami. Ça fait un moment que je ne t'ai pas vu. Et c'est une noire. Euh, au fait, la petite fille de l'autre fois était là. Je crois qu'elle te cherche. Tu sais, Perline. Qu'est-ce qu'elle est marrante avec sa petite boîte à déjeuner qu'elle trimballe partout avec elle. Ça me fait penser à toi avec ton attaché caisse. Ta little girl, Perline. Ouais, Perline. Elle avait un bouquin à te rendre ou à te remettre. J'ai pas très bien compris, mais elle voulait pas le laisser. Ici, tu sais. She probably wanted to give me that book back. Wouldn't know what she thought about it. Hey, man. It's a little big, but I figure you could get some of those Haitian Taylor guys you know they could cut up, fit it for you. Uh, voilà un costume sympa. Pour moi. Yeah, that's for you. Ah, man, c'est super, ça. Ça m'a l'air un peu grand, mais je connais des tailleurs haïtiens qui peuvent me le retoucher, tu sais. There is surely nothing other than the single purpose of the present moment. A man's whole life is a succession of moment after moment. One fully understands the present moment, there will be nothing else to do and nothing else to pursue.
there is something to be learned from a rainstorm. When meeting with a sudden shower, you try not to get wet and run quickly along the road. By doing such things as passing under the eaves of houses, you still get wet. When you are resolved from the beginning, you will not be perplexed, that you will still get the same soaking. This understanding extends to all things. It is said that what is called the spirit of an age is something to which one cannot return. That the spirit gradually dissipates is due to the world's coming to an end. For this reason, although one would like to change today's world back to the spirit of 100 years or more ago, it could not be done. Thus, it is important to make the best out of every generation.
gift of power equality. I will see everything, my brother. Man. Tout à l'heure, il y avait un type bizarre ici. Un blanc étrange. Je ne sais pas. Je me demande si c'est pas pour me déporter ou autre. En tout cas, j'ai un mauvais pressentiment. Il avait son bras à l'intérieur, comme dans un plâtre. Don't worry, man. It's okay. It's alright. I mean, uh, I need to get inside, okay? I need to get inside the truck, alright? Look in the truck. mauvaise nouvelle. Maintenant, la radio, ils disent que la glace est vraiment pas bonne pour la santé. Trop de sucre, pas assez de calcium. Turn around, man. Quoi? Turn around. Turn around. Quoi? Oh, oh ça! C'est pour ma sécurité, tu sais. Pour protéger mes affaires. N'oublie pas que je vis maintenant en Amérique, man. Tiens. Non, 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 thanks. I'm, I'm not hungry. Here, man, we'll give you this. I don't want you to worry, Raven. I don't want you to worry about nothing. Everything happens for a reason. You know that guy? The guy who was here before, the guy with his arm in a sling? Ouais, le type avec son bras dans le plâtre, quoi? Yeah. I know that guy. His name's Louis. I'm his retainer. She wants a long time ago. He helped me out. What's going on? What's the problem here? And I owe him for that. See, a samurai must always stay loyal to his boss, no matter what happens. Anyway, me and him, we're from different ancient tribes. And now, we're both almost extinct. But sometimes, you gotta stick with the ancient ways. The old school ways. Now you understand me. I know you understand me. Hello? Anyone home in there? Hey, comment va la petite berline aujourd'hui? Tiens, un double pour toi sur le compte de la maison. No, but thank you. I'm not really hungry right now. Ghost Dog, I brought your book back. I finished it a few days ago, but I didn't see you around. What'd you think? Well, I liked all six different stories. Ancient Japan was a pretty weird place, I guess. But I especially liked the first story, where it's, um, like one story, but each person in it sees a completely different story. That was a really good one. Nabu no Naka. That's my favorite, too. Well, 
you know, thank you for returning. And thank you for your comments. You do me a favor? What? Take this book and you read it some time. I mean, you don't gotta read it right away, though. Okay. Is it good? Yeah, well, I liked it a lot. It's not exactly a story, though. It's kind of, uh... Ghost on! Sydney. You should go home now. What is this, Louis? I knew. This is the final shootout scene. I guess it is. Yeah. Well, it's very traumatic. It's very traumatic. And I understand. You have to avenge the death of your bosses, right? Well, okay then. Stay back! Now you're gonna be the boss of your own clan, right, Louis? Because ain't nobody else left. Is that right, Louis? Not, not exactly, Ghost Dog. Like you said, better you than me, right? Nothing makes any sense anymore. Okay, Louie. I've seen everything I need to see. Do me one favor, though. One favor. What do you want me to do? Take this book. You can read it sometime. Then later on, you can tell me what you think. Yeah. Sure.
Let's get out of here. This is my book. No, it isn't, Miss Fargo. I got it from the guy from Ghost Dog. Can we please get out of here? It takes place in ancient Japan. You should read it. Why don't you go in the other room and read your book, darling? In the Kamigata area, they have a sort of tiered lunchbox they use for a single day when flower viewing. Upon returning, they throw them away, trampling them underfoot. The end is important in all things. Mm -hmm. 